Knock, knock. We won your tournament. Now pay us. You're here. Good. I have everything I need to get started. Just one thing before we do. You're the Cloud, right? Cloud the Merc. I'm told you did a wonderful job helping the people of Sector 5. <laughs> you have a very impressive work ethic. It's like they say, good things come to those who work. What goes around comes around, and in ways that might surprise you. <laughs> I'm gonna put Aerith in the most gorgeous dress you've ever seen. <laughs> It'll be a real jaw dropper. All right, now that that's out of the way, once you change, you won't be able to leave town. Are you sure you're ready? Oh, yeah. All right then, let's get started. Beauty takes a lot of work and preparation. Far more than you'd know. In the meantime, let me see, let me think. There ought to be things you can only do without your friend. Now's your chance to get out and have some fun. <laughs> I can tell you're already beginning to feel at home here. Though being so new to it, I assumed you still wouldn't know how to enjoy yourself properly. <laughs> so I went and had a chat with Sam. He said he'd be happy to help you out. Hey, no one asked you to do that. But there's so much you don't know. This is the perfect opportunity for you to learn the ways of the world and man the hell up. And that's enough of that. Aerith, come with me. Oh boy, I can't wait to see the dress! The dress is part of it, sure. But we'll also need to do something about that plain Jane makeup and hairdo. This is gonna take some work. Ouch! Yeah, okay. Well, I'll see you later, Cloud. Peek, and I'll poke out your eyes. Uh, okay. You do realize I have a huge sword. Bite me. <laughs> Guess it's just me now. So, you. What's your deal? Howdy. Madam M said you'd be swinging by. Let me see if I've got this straight. You ditched your lady friend and fellow champion to have a boys' night out in Wall Market? Uh. Kid, if I know the madam, and I do, this was all her idea. I can see why. There's no denying you're skilled with a sword, but when it comes to damn near anything else, well, can't help but have my doubts. Ain't nothing wrong with that, but then there's nothing wrong with expanding your horizons neither, seeking new experiences. Knowing the ways of this here world will help you to better protect her while you're in it. Reckon I got a few solid gigs for you. What do you say? You game? Huh. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> That's the spirit. You have yourself a grand time tonight, Mr. Merck. Oh, wonderful. you giving me a whole bunch of side quests. You realize that this... Oh, this chapter is already going on for so long. You know... I'll see you guys in a minute. There's gonna be a lot of side quests here, so I'm just gonna do a magical edit of uh, me going to the next main objective. Okay, did all the side quest stuff, so now we can continue. No! What? 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 Cloud! Finally! Tifa! She! I! Tifa! She! She's! I don't! Take a deep breath. What about Tifa? I heard Corneo was gonna audition new girls soon. And Tifa's... Tifa's gonna be... I just... I, I don't know what to do. Well, I do. I'll come too! Hey, Cloud! Bro! I can call you bro, right? Nope. Oh my gosh. Just wanna say, bro, that I'm totally relieved that you're looking out for Tifa. So, like, how'd you get so strong anyway, bro? Think you're too good for my The way you fight, bro, is like poetry and violence. Bing, bing, whoosh, whoosh, you know? I really wish I could be just like you. My problem is that I tend to overthink and overanalyze. Well, this is it for me. Call me crazy, but, uh, I have a feeling that I'll just be getting in the way. Go find Aerith at Madame M's. Tell her to wait for me there when she's done. 
Think you can handle that? Yes, sir. Ugh. Johnny is a weird character. You again? Got that letter of approval you mentioned. Hmm? You know that's only good for women, right? Yeah, it's for Aerith. Who? Oh, that girl you were with. Sorry to hear that. Well, either way, you're stuck out here, pal. I can't let you in. I wasn't asking for permission. Huh? Wouldn't try it if I were you. Trust me, you don't want to screw with the Don. If you even think about causing any trouble, he'll make sure someone pays for it. And that someone might wind up being the girl you're trying so hard to break out. Or it could wind up being someone you've never even met before. Get it? You're in the Don's world now. Anyway, you've got some time yet. The audition won't start for a while. If you're sure you want to go through with this, then bring the girl and the letter. But if I were you, I wouldn't. Okay, then. I mean, I have to get in there and get Tifa out, so we gotta figure something out. Zach, we're here. But <laughs> he got a red carpet and everything. Ma'am. Hey, yeah. Uh. That's really. Yeah. Corneo's got certain tastes. This dress is so gaudy and impossible to move in. <laughs> uh, yeah. Cloud? Uh, Come on, uh, Cloud. Excuse me. Huh. Hey, wait a minute. Did Johnny forget to give you my message? The one asking me to stay put? No, I got it. I was worried about you. I'm starting to think this place is more dangerous than we thought. Who knows what they'll ask you to do in this audition. No way in hell I'll let you go in there by yourself. By myself? Oh, don't worry. I wasn't gonna. Come on, you'll see. See what, exactly? According to Madam M, you've caught the eye of a certain fabulous someone, and they'd like to meet in person. Huh? <laughs> what? Why did you even <laughs> walk up there in that dress and everything with the red carpet? Wow, that dress is really flailing. Look at you all dolled up and fabulous. Where are you headed? Okay, keep it in your pants, dude. Ooh. Hey there, cutie. Where are you headed? Jesus. Everybody's. Oh my gosh. If Zach was here, there would be a lot of people that were beheaded. I give her a B. That dress was completely overshadowed. You were like a beautiful flower. Time to go. This is it. Your distance. Why are we here? To see the honeybee inn's Andrea Rodea and convince him to give you his stamp of approval. You said what? you didn't want me going alone, right? Well, with Andrea's help, you can join me. It'll be fun. And honestly, I think you'll look pretty cute in a dress. What? I'm sorry, what? It's pretty rare for Andrea to take a personal interest in someone. At least, that's what Madame M said. Trust me, this is gonna work out great. Uh... Come on! Don't you wanna save Tifa? Wait. No can do, Cloud. This is our plan, and you'll learn to love it. So, here's how I think we should approach him. Madame M said Andrea was a man who'd give anyone a fair chance to win him over. 
So I say we march right up to him, explain the situation, and see where that gets us. Sound good? Uh, Come on! Don't you want to save Tifa? But I don't want to be put in a dress. Hey. Uh, Welcome to the entertainment extravaganza that is the Honeybee Inn. We're here to see Andrea Rodea. You must be Mr. Cloud. He's waiting for you. Mr. Cloud? I've been instructed to send you through without delay, sir. Please, make your way to the stage in the back. What stage? The one in the back, sir. Straight through those doors and down the hall. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Um, ladies? And here's the man of the hour, chosen by Andrea himself, our honored guest. Um. This is your first time, right? It's okay. Do you want to practice your dance moves first? Why would I want to do that? Andrea thought it might be a good idea. Over here, come on now. Hey, hold on. Uh, what? <laughs> What? Dance practice? <laughs> oh no. Delicious. Perfection. Work it, honey. Delicious. What am I playing? I messed that one up. Delicious. Perfection. Okay, so I can't hit it too early. Work it, honey. I had one bad move. <laughs> You've got real rhythm, mister. Move over, girls. A new dancer's come to town. I'm good. I don't want to practice again. I think come I'll take on, my 9 on. out of 10. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait, you took my sword? My, my. Is that Cloud? Mm. Darling, I had no idea. Oh, bullshit! <laughs> <laughs> you knew about this and you Oh my oh and you're here. It... You well, you just sit tight until Andrea takes the stage. Look at his muscles. Aw, oh, he's flushing. <laughs> what the hell? at a loss right now. <laughs> Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. Um, Welcome to the Honeybee Inn, Cloud. <laughs> you seek my approval. No, what? <laughs> what the hell? Those who brave my favor must first prove that they know how to move. Really? <laughs> oh God! Really? Eris, don't cheer this on. Jeez, 
is why. I think you can follow my lead. Oh no. <laughs> just gotta push the right buttons at the right time, that's all. At least the buttons are pretty obvious. Jesus. <laughs> I didn't get any bad ones. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Honey, I'm in love. Yes. Yes, I will transform you into a vision of beauty. What? Now, without further ado, let us begin! Whoa, 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 whoa. Hmm. What the, what the hell? <laughs> What's going on? Oh no. <laughs> Oh no. You were born for this. What the? What the? <laughs> What'd they do to me? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> True beauty is an expression of the heart, a thing without shape, to which notions of gender don't apply. Don't ever be afraid to. Oh, I want my uh, I want my armor back. <laughs> what the hell? Oh no, and there comes... Oh, there, there's Cloud. 
Wow. Was it planned wow. from the start? Now that, that was Did a you show. see their look of surprise? Loud. <laughs> Yoo-hoo, Cloud, hello? <laughs> I don't think he wants to talk to you, Aerith. Please don't. Not a word. Not even one? No! <laughs> but you're so pretty! <laughs> Screw you! <laughs> Why are we in a dress? Uh, <laughs> I want this chatter to be done. No, not talking to anybody. No, this is embarrassing as hell. That is one hot shit. Shut up. <laughs> uh, can I be done with this? I want to. I want to leave. I want to go home. Don't you dare say anything. Don't you dare. No way. Here we are. Letters from Andrea Rodea and Madam M. That ought to do the trick, right? You serious? Is there a problem? Uh, I hope you know what you're in for. <laughs> oh, we'll be fine. If you say so. Come on. This hurts. <laughs> Why do I gotta walk so fancy the two like? Are you here for the audition? Second floor, at the very end of the wall. And don't go poking your nose in where it doesn't belong. The very end? That Andrea's girl? I'd let her do things to me. Rooms at the end. Uh, uh, Oh, so this is where we stay, huh? Huh? What's that weird, sweet smell? And why do I feel so dizzy? Gas. Uh, uh? Come on. I know, thank you. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Moving on. <laughs> you good? Yeah, bit woozy, but I'll manage. <sighs> hey, Tifa. How you doing? Uh, okay. Oh, right. I'm Aaron. A friend of Cloud's. We were worried and thought we'd come help you out. Uh, thanks. Cut the chatter. We gotta leave. Huh? Right now. Uh, no! Not until I've got what I came for. What? So, after we made it back to the slums, some guys came around asking all kinds of questions. So I did some digging. And found out they were Corneo's men. Right. They were interested in Avalanche. But I couldn't figure out why. So I thought I'd come and ask the man himself. Seriously? Thought if I could find a way in and get someone on one time, 
But then I realized, I'd only be one of three candidates. And that if he didn't pick me, it would all be for nothing. Then your worries are over, aren't they? Because the other two candidates are right here, right? Uh, right. So yeah, if we're all in on it, then nothing can go wrong. Uh, I guess not. You? Me? Cloud? Makes no difference who gets chosen, does it? I don't know, Aerith. It feels wrong getting you involved in all this. Don't even bother trying to talk her out of it. <laughs> oh, Cloud gets me. Took you long enough. <laughs> I like Tifa's dress. She looks so great. What happens now? But, uh, I think call for us when it's time. Can I get out this of mine? Gives me the creeps. What's, what's up with this thing? Still nothing better than what I got. He just kicked the freaking chest open. Why? Cloud, why? Okay, so. Well? Now, ladies, listen up. I'm sure you're still feeling a bit woozy, but tonight's audition's about to begin. Head out the door to the left and up the stairs. Come on, ladies, let's hustle. All right, guys, let's do this. <laughs> do you want to do this? No, I don't. I really don't. I I want to immediately get back into my armor and and and, and get my sword and tear this place apart. Uh, let's just get this over with. Okay, my beautiful ladies, time to line up for the dawn. Hmm. Hmm? Wait, you look kind of familiar. We haven't met before, have we? Mm -mm. Uh, whatever. All right, y'all good to go? Then let's do this thing. Introducing Walmart's most eligible bachelor, the one and only Don Corneo. Ladies? Uh. What? Oh. Uh. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> Whichever one shall I pick? Mm. Oh. Shall I pick you? <laughs> or maybe you? Yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh yeah! I've got it! I've got it! Today's bride to be is... Today's? And tomorrow's, or the day after's, if the dawn takes a shine to you. Pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> hey, which one of you said that? Oh, that would be me. You? Ooh, you got a mouth on you! I'm gonna enjoy breaking it in. Today's lucky lady is the Big Bone Girl! <laughs> Still playing hard to get? I can dig it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Leftovers are all yours. Yeah! yeah. We. Okay. <laughs> okay, ladies. Y'all coming with me. <laughs> Don't be shy, oh kitten. This Shimmy is horrifying. And give Daddy some sugar. No need to play coy. Nobody here but you and me. Oh, you're even cuter than I thought. Oh, back off. Woo! <laughs> this kitten's got claws. I love it. <laughs> Jesus, the belly jiggle. <laughs> what was that? 
Don't you worry, your pretty little head. Just a picture to preserve the moment. And to ensure you don't do anything inappropriate like say no. Asshole. Oh, praise me more! <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, fellas! We got guests, and y'all got first crack at entertaining them. Uh. Courtesy of the ever generous Don Corneo himself, <clears throat> the, event, the Don provides. Yeah. God These guys were the announcers at the arena. So, ladies, ready to get to it? Yeah. I guess I'm good to go whenever. How about you, Tifa? Hmm. Four guys between us. Okay, let's not keep Cloud waiting. Right. Wait. I know you. The Coliseum. <laughs> yes, kicked in the nuts. You stupid. Wait. All right. Good job, Aaron. It was nothing compared to you. <laughs> Andrea filled me in on the situation. I come bearing gifts with you. I'll do what I can to clean this up. Just finish the job. Well, dang. Inside man, huh? Okay, let's go rescue Cloud. Corneo's room, right? Is there anything in this room? The stealer stuff. Molotov cocktail. <laughs> oh, okay. Better hurry. Better hurry. Man, I love this. Quality tie because like that. Bet they're going at it right now. Lucky bastard. Um, do we go that way or do we go this way? What are you doing here? <laughs> hey, hey, you the Come on! Oh. One more shot! <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. No surprises there. I feel like we were supposed to go downstairs too. Wait, but wait, no, we came through here. I kinda I, I, I kinda wanna go downstairs and you know, take care of some problems, but I mean was there anything? I see you managed to get out, huh? This one's for you! One more shot! I mean, Eric is pretty powerful. Worked up a good sweat. I'm here. Hello. I knew I made a good call coming down here. Ain't a fury ring. Interesting, I'll have to look at that. Can't go that way. Can't go that way, can't go that way. Okay, so literally the only thing I came down here for was just a couple of things. Alright, well, I imagine Cloud is still, uh, Calling him multiple profanities. Anything? No? Okay. <laughs> Don't stop! Tell me what you a bad boy I bastard. am! <laughs> yes! Yes, I am! Here I come, baby! Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Hey, who the hell gave you permission to do that? 
One of you get in here and teach this bitch some manners! Uh -huh. Sorry, but your boys had to learn some manners too. What the? Cloud, your clothes! <laughs> yeah. I'm not a chick. <laughs> so you're a man, huh? What are you three up to? We'll ask the questions. Like, why'd you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Yeah. Huh? Don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with me. Let's try again. Why did you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Spill the beans, or... I'll cut him off. All right, all right, I'll talk, I'll talk! <sighs> uh, some guy with a gun for an arm! I was paid to find him! Paid by who? I can't tell you that! They'd hunt me down like a dog! Well, you better. Because if you don't, I'll rip them off! <laughs> It was the director of public security, Heidegger! It was Heidegger! Shinra! And what were they planning? Some things are better left unsaid, you know? See, I'm not so sure they are. Better keep talking. Or I'll <laughs> smash them. Ha! <laughs> 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 All right, you got me. I could never say no to a sexy girl. Since Avalanche blew up two reactors, Shinra's decided they ought to stamp them out, home base and all. And I mean, stamp out. By targeting the support pillar and blowing it up. The pillar? Did I stutter? The plate will come crushing down. What? It'll be Sector 6 all over again. I'm sure you've been there and seen the wreckage for yourself. So you know exactly what Sector 7's gonna look like. They wouldn't. Come on, guys. We gotta go. Before you do... No. Please, this won't take long. As everyone knows, villains only divulge their plans in a certain situation. But what is that situation? I don't know. I didn't pick one. Oh, I'm sorry. Time's up. The answer lies in the sewers. <laughs> 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 Enjoy the sights and smells! <laughs> what the hell? So that was the end of the chapter? Are we on schedule? Yeah! Oh, man. This chapter was a doozy. Oh, my lord. Okay. Well. Um. At least I'm not in the dress anymore. <laughs> I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.